have to stick with dwarves and you can do something else with it. Um, so in this spot, I think I'm pretty likely to be taking Potion Master here. It's certainly not Trophy Hunter. Uh, it's not Headless Horseman, and it's likely not this. So I think we'll just take Potion Master and be fine with it. I do like Potion Master. There's a lot of potential with it. Definitely one of my uh, more favored changes that I think that they made. Alright, so we have not the ideal start with Potion Master here, honestly. Interesting that we have both a Skip and a Sadrak. Those I wouldn't necessarily think are pretty, you know, the, the stronger choices. Um, I don't think I can actually lock this. I think we're going to take the Baby Dragon as opposed to the Tinies. And then we're just going to let this roll by. Um, ideally, we're looking for a lot of Tier 3s. We may not be casting a lot of spells early. Um, but if I can buff up this dragon a little bit with the random targeted one, I probably will. Uh, so Humpty Dumpty, probably because they had four glory here, would be my guess. <clears throat> so we do have a shrink. I think shrink is good in this spot. It lets us take two things. Functions as basically a free coin where we get a happy little tree and a unicorn. Uh, which I think I'm fine with. So we'll grab this, we'll sell this, and we'll pick up these two. Um, we're not particularly strong in this spot, um, especially not against a Piper. Uh, but the tree is a very good target for buffs on Potion Master, uh, which I do like. Um, and this is a decent turn to be picking it up, and it gives us an extra gold, which I think is fine. Uh, we do end up... Um, able to tie this, which I think is fine. They have a very good start on Piper. Double Mouse is really, really good. Uh, pretty, pretty scary, actually. So we're against Skip. These are pretty bad. And I don't have a targeted spell. I think I'm going to roll once. So we didn't find a targeted spell, but we did find double sure shot. Which I think we'll grab. So we end up doing pretty well here because we have the dragon. Uh, being able to kill the support helps a ton here. I do like the Darkwood Creeper as well. So I like the Creeper, for sure. I actually like Mixawizzling this. It turns into another Creeper, that's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna sell this. And I'm actually gonna flourish this one. Uh, and what this is gonna allow us to do is most of the attacks are gonna go on this Creeper. It's gonna get a lot of extra attack because it is a Creeper for now, and then that's gonna set us up super well for the next couple of turns. That was huge here. Um, it's likely gonna, it'll end up going back, but this should, in theory, give us, hopefully, a lot of extra stats here. Okay, so that's great. So we get to shoot this. This trades. We're likely not gonna win this combat, but we get a ton of extra stats here that should set us up for the next round. Um, the Queen of Hearts and the Stag attacking are a bit too much for us. We were close, but we were only short by a little bit of stats here, but... I think we're in a really good position now that this is a 916. 
Um, I'm kind of interested in this Darkwood Creeper and maybe this mix -a Whizzle again. Like, we definitely want the Darkwood Creeper. I think we need to get rid of these Sure Shots, actually. It's a pretty big Vainpire. So if we sell at least one of these, we can still Luna's Grace. I think we can do something like this. And we can just sort of all in on this Vainpire. Now hopefully our opponent isn't incredibly strong. Um, but this all in should do quite well for us because that, we're going to really stack up a lot of stats on, uh, on this tree. Which, we're going to have one unit that's just omega huge at this point. It's a 28-26 already, which is amazing. <sighs> Ideally, I would like to find another... Um, another happy little tree so we can start scaling the health a bit more. But I think I'd like to maybe spread out our stats a little bit so we're not just all in on one unit. We can pick this up, we can make it bigger. And wake it up, and then we can roll... Maybe we even pick up the Brave Princess. It is a 5-3, which is not very large. Uh, I think I'll pass. Uh, we can maybe take the pair of baby dragons here. Set it up something like this. This has a lot of attack and not a ton of health. It is a decent amount of health, though. Um, ideally, I'd like to see if I can triple either the Creeper or the Princess into um, into Crystal Ball. Obviously, Crystal Ball is very good with Potion Master. We're going to need to get something that is evil that has a lot of attack. So I think that's our next priority come Tier 4. Hopefully, this is able to kill one of these peeps, which it is. Um, the other one is still going to be pretty big here, which is a bit unfortunate. We're going to get some extra stats in these dragons. I don't know how long we're going to end up keeping them. So this is 4, 8, 12, 16. This should be plenty big enough. Oh no, it's not. Shit. I miscounted. I forgot that this was an 8, 8. That's unfortunate. We take damage here for no reason. Well, that's too bad. I think I roll. We could switch out the baby root for Lady Lake. It is a very minor upgrade. It does give us another thing that's actually attacking that isn't this, that we can be buffing up, which I think I do like. Let's pick that up, and then let's roll. I would like to find a targeted spell, if I can. Uh, we have one roll, and I can sell the baby root for it. bit unfortunate that it's so expensive. I could lock for the Lady of the Lake pair. I don't actually think that I'm going to, though. I think I'm going to let this go by. A little sad about that. I think the Happy Little Tree is going to be able to carry... 
looks like it. Okay. So we are still going to need some help here. I roll. Alright, we'll take the Sleeping Princess pair. This is Sadrak. Have we seen Sadrak at all? No. Kidnap likely steals something that's a back row unit. I think I'm going to roll. So this can give us more attack. I think we can cast it here. To make this a little bit more of a reasonable threat. And we can probably start scaling with our Heartwood Elder here as well. That gives us more health. Or more attack. We can maybe rearrange these a bit. Something like... It's a 9-2 versus a 9-2. We can maybe rearrange them something like this. We can keep the 3 pair and give up on the 2's pair. I think that's okay. Uh, it might be that I'm supposed to move these over more so the creeper's in the third spot. Hmm. Wow, that's... Okay. Apparently people have let themselves get just free farmed. So that's not great. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. How do we deal with that? We're going to need... Fuck, I don't know how we're supposed to deal with that. That's a huge problem. Medusas? We're going to need Medusas. We're going to need more of a board as well. Our board sucks. Let's roll. We can scale up two attack on our whole board. Which I think is probably fine. That might end up being better than just targeted. Maybe we do this, even, to get more attack on these, so that we can pick up shoulder fairies come next turn. No, I still need to scale up the happy little tree. I think we are going to use the falling stars here. There's our Medusa, though. I don't think I can pick it up this turn. We'll lock for the Triple Lady of the Lake. And possibly the Burning Palm. Alright, that was actually really big. Hopefully this attacks over here. No, that was unfortunate. Getting a little bit of extra attack on these Creepers is going to help for when we do eventually get into uh, Shoulder Fairy territory. We're going to take the triple. I 
think we'll grab Ring of Rage in this spot. Which means we can put one of these behind again. And then we can probably Burning Palm this, actually. And then roll. 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 Do I need to look for tier 5 treasure? I don't think so. I think I roll. I need to find a better either triples or shoulder fairies. We'll take shoulder fairies here. We are still going to need to work on getting some attack on these, but the shoulder fairies at this point is nice. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to beat Carlum in this spot. Getting that unlimited scaling is really problematic. We're just going to have to scam them. I am going to look for Medusas at this point, but... I don't really know if there's anything else that I can do in this spot. Hopefully this happy little tree is big enough to succeed here. I really need to shoot this. Okay, we're fine then. Uh, we just have to dodge Sadrak for a little while, I think is kind of our current situation. So we'll take shoulder fairies for sure, and then let's roll. I'd like to get more health on this. I think that makes sense to me. Uh, let's roll. I wonder if scaling up an apple bomb makes sense. Or even just having one. Because it definitely does give us another thing that we can be doing. Against the sad Dracula. Let's roll. Do we need to be more heartwood scaling? Probably. We don't really have a world where we can be doing that, I don't think. Not Certainly not locking. I do think it's good, I just don't think I can lock it here. They have an awful lot of good boys for this early in the game, which is a bit problematic. Uh, we're going to need to kill this Medusa, which I don't know if we actually can. Uh, that's really fucked. Uh, we just get killed by Medusa. With a thousand health here. What the fuck, dude? Alright, we are we get a temporary reprieve here. Let's pick up the Sleeping Princess and see what happens. We could take Sting, which if we put the Creeper there, gives our Shoulder Fairies a lot more attack. Which I think is maybe what we need to do. I do like the hat, but I just, we're so far from actually getting treasures to support it. Just don't think there's anything we can do about it. I think I just have to roll here. Alright, upgrading the creeper does help a lot, actually. So, here's a treasure map we'll take. Uh, we'll grab this and lucky coin. And then we're gonna roll. Here's another Shoulder Fairies. We certainly have to pick this up. 
Is there a way that I can also TLK? We could kiss this into a f an upgraded four. So if we sell this, this is five, six, and then potentially seven. I don't think I can comfortably kiss this. So I think I just have to not worry about it. And then just do something like this. Uh, we are against Geppetto, who we had fought recently. Uh, maybe I can afford to do this. Just to try and scale them the, the natural way. And then we can put it in the front later if we need the extra stats. I'm not even sure if we find Ashwood without Fog, we're going to be able to beat the Sadrak. We do get a lot of free scaling here, though, which is really huge. Okay. Okay, so we dodge it again. We're against Beauty. We'll take this for the seven. We can just play round table trees. That might be good enough to beat what Carlin was doing. Okay, so let's roll then. I don't really want to use the sugar and spice in this spot. I think we just need to roll. This doesn't actually need to be supported there anymore. We can put it here. Though that makes the shoulder fairies a little weaker. I guess we could do this. And then this. Let's roll. Alright, let's lock for the Ashodome. Um, we can probably just put a dragon. Maybe something like this. I guess in this world I, I definitely should have had the Darkwood Creeper in the back then. Our shoulder phase is quite large, but... We're gonna have to see... Okay, we didn't actually kill that, which sucks. We're going to need to hit it here. And yeah, then this shoots here. If we shoot it, and then they flip on this side. Okay, thank fuck. Alright, so we have a chance. If we can, if we can piece together this round table. Okay, let's grab this. And then we could even beauties influence it as well. And then let's roll. So we could make more Ashwoods. I think we need to find an Echo Wood. That's the way that we get a lot bigger here. Uh, we could lock Fog here as well. So we could have temporary scaling for one more turn. And then we can maybe replace the Lady of the Lake. I think we need to lock Fog against Carlum to have a chance here, since we didn't find Echo Wood. Uh, that's not ideal. Okay, we'll be fine here. 
the shoulder fairy is plenty big enough. We may end up needing to replace the Lady of the Lake instead of the... Because the Lady of the Lake is only ever going to be a 25-25. Alright, I think we fog in this spot and then roll. Really need an Echo Wood here. I would have probably sold down an extra unit for an Echo Wood. So can I afford this Green Knight as well? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can. I think I have to play it just to be the strongest that I possibly can be this turn. Even though we lose the Lady of the Lake, I think it's okay. So this technically makes our shoulder fairies a little bit bigger, but I think this makes more sense because it makes all of these have plus 50. I mean, this is the biggest that we're going to be able to make ourselves. We really need to kill this. Okay, so we just have to dodge losing our biggest things to the apple bombs here. Okay. So, none of our things should die. So this is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lethal. Okay. So, looking at our opponent, which is beauty... We still need the same thing, which is that we need, we need a little bit more. This is pretty nice. So I think it's worth taking, even though it gives us a little bit less equity on finding Echo. We have, what, one more roll to find Echo Wood here? This is basically as big as any random tree, right? How big is this? This is literally just an 80 either way. So on the off chance that we tie, I think we'll lock the knighthood for the Ashwood, I guess. Not finding an echo that whole time is really not ideal. I don't know if we're going to be big enough here. We are quite large, but not getting the hit here was pretty shit. Let's hit here. Okay, we really need to kill this Siren. Alright, thank god. Okay, so that'll work. Whew, these games are tough. These are some tough lobbies. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and we'll mark that down as a first... Potion Master. Which will put us at 36 points, which is pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and go on a 
quick break. Um, I think I might need a little bit of a snack or something before the next round. And then we'll get going on that one.